we'll get started here. So just wanted to mention um, there are flyers here um, for a summer yoga retreat that's in Chelsea at Triple Crane um, Retreat Center. And I will be teaching a class there. So if you're looking for a weekend of yoga and other fun meditation, dance, curtain, vegetarian food, um, other speakers and things, it's a really nice retreat center. So these flyers are right here. So if you guys are interested, pick one up. And yeah, so just coming to our comfortable seat. And so just a reminder, next Monday, no class. So if you're partying or whatever you're doing for 4th of July, there's no class in the evening. So we'll meet again in two weeks. And, um, yeah, so just um, because this, this is a long, you know, the classes at the um, community college are a little longer, y yoga classes, and really the intention is that you also get a little kind of, um, you know, just philosophy or education, just a little more learning around um, the yoga as well. So one of the things... Um, in, in yoga philosophy or this practice is that we are we have layers of our being and we have the physical we have the energetic or the breath layer of ourselves we have um, the mind and emotions we have um, a belief system so just kind of inner contracts with ourselves like that we believe are true about the world and our existence. And, and then we have this um, kind of transcendent layer of like beyond the body, beyond the mind, um, more kind of a spirit existence or layer. And um, in Sanskrit, those are koshas. And they're, they're called koshas. And so we have um, a kosha or a veil or a layer and we can find balance in each of those layers to come closer to connecting to full consciousness or awareness or um, what they call just um, fully oneness with the world or creation. So when we, um, when we, um, when we release tension in the physical but layer, we're letting go of blocks to that realization, blocks to that um, understanding that we are peace and we are light. And then when we let go of energetic blocks, which means our breathing and our breath layer is fully in the whole body, then um, we release uh, blocks to that um, realization um, from um, uh, through our energetic layer and then our mind and our thoughts, this is the tough one, right? <laughs> our, our brain goes into certain messages, pathways, habits of thinking that are really hard to break. But when we become more aware of how we think and our habits of thinking, then we can more shift our thinking into something positive or accepting or surrendering. So that layer gets gets um, us a little closer to remembering that we are um, we are just we're pure bliss inside underneath all these layers um, so just th and then that layer of our belief system where we just you know whether what we believe about ourselves our self-judgment our um, any beliefs we have and we're just recognizing those are habits and patterns and things that we've been conditioned so um, we're going to work with the physical and the breath tonight, and that's what we usually do, just the, just the physical layer of tensions, the energetic layer of breathing, and whatever we can to just kind of uh, release any blocks or tension in those layers and um, through these 
these practices. But just so you know, there's like other layers as you get closer and you get more into meditation. If anybody is interested in meditation, you can start to then um, kind of notice those thought patterns and, um, and other things that get that kind of hold us back or create blocks. So, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd share that tonight. And um, we, will, um, we will just start with the, with the breath. Um, and uh, we'll come on to the back. So have a nice uh, supine posture. You could bend your knees. So letting your physical layer, which is called Anamaya Kosha, the physical layer, that kosha, the veil, let that rest on the earth for a moment. And as you feel the earth support your body, just take a moment to notice a little pressure down into your feet. You will feel the feet there, maybe even squeeze the earth with your toes. Take a moment and maybe notice where the, the pelvis is and just rock it around a little bit. Just kind of rock, set, rock the, and then the knees can kind of rock side to side and you're just gonna kind of roll over the, the sacrum. Right, finding where the base of the spine and the pelvic girdle, the glute muscles touch the earth. And just take a breath and pause. And just kind of let the pelvis rest. You might notice if both sides are kind of equally touching the ground. It is one side, is the pelvis weighted more to one side or the other? I'm just taking a breath. I'm just gonna notice maybe where the lumbar curve is. I'm gonna take a notice, maybe slide the hand right behind the lumbar curve just to feel you have a natural curve. So that's usually not gonna be touching the ground. You'll have some space there. And coming up into the back ribs, back side of the rib cage. And as you notice what parts of the rib cage are touching the ground. Taking several breaths. And you notice one side or the other touches more. Noticing the shoulder blades. Do they lay flat or tug away from the ground? And the upper arm bones, the length of the arms, they rest on the ground or kind of pull away or and take a breath. Noticing your Anamaya Kosha, your physical layer tonight as you come up through the neck area, the cervical spine, the jaw, and setting your intention to just notice tonight. Right? Yoga is about opening to just what's here and Letting go of any judgments or expectations. And we'll come up to the eyes. Maybe just notice around your eyes. And the forehead. The 
feeling the whole the cranium itself, the weight of the head on the ground. Sensing the whole body as one unit. Breathing in and breathing out. So beginning to notice um, just the neck a little bit. Let's just rock the head side to side. So you're painting the floor with the back of the head. So just letting the ears be heavy as you rock side to side. Letting the tongue just, um, you know, rest evenly in the mouth, maybe even pressing to the upper palate. Notice you come back to a neutral head and pause. Just beginning to notice the breath a little more. So this layer of ourselves is this exchange of oxygen and CO2, but it also carries this life like into the body and back out again. So just kind of follow that, that breath in and breath out, softening the entire body. Noticing if both nostrils feel clear, or if one side or the other is restricted. As you begin to relax into breathing through the na through the nose, if possible, just kind of bring the attention down um, slowly on the inhale, maybe expanding a bit around the lower ribs. So we're coming into that subtle breathing, where diaphragmatic breathing, where we're expanding a bit. So feeling the belly move out. You could place a hand there if you want. And then on the exhale, it's very light, subtle, slow exhalation as the belly relaxes back. And you just want that breath to move just outside the nostrils. So it's moving really slowly out. And then the in-breath, creating some voluminous space in the belly, expanding. on the exhale breath, just relaxing the belly, gently pulling it inward. And so as you do that diaphragmatic breathing a few more times, you might notice this is the beginning of connection to our core and our dia diaphragm, which is part of our core. And you might notice, does the diaphragm fully, is it 360 degrees kind of expanding or dropping on the in-breath? And on the out-breath, does it contract fully around and back up into the rib cage? So, and there might be areas of, of um, less connection even have parts of the diaphragm that are we don't connect to or that there might not be a muscular contraction. So just noticing. And without strain. So now we're going to start to um, just work with our our core a little bit. So um, the next time you exhale, let's start to take 
the lower belly contraction, so um, the pubis towards the navel. So we're shrinking that up. We're starting a little bit of contraction. We're not going to quite move into the pelvic tilts yet, so try to keep the glutes out of it. Just contract the belly in, tucking it in on the exhale. And on the in-breath, expanding. And on the out breath, hollowing out the belly a little bit if you can. It's kind of hard to not rock the pelvis to do it. So see if you can. Those, there's some deep inner core that we want to try to access first. And so one more breath like that. start to, to bring um, a bit of the glute muscles on board, just taking the pelvic, pelvic tilt. So on the in-breath, moving, um, expanding, arching the back. And as you're exhaling now, we might press the lower back towards the floor and contract the pubic bone towards the navel. So a posterior tilt to the pelvis, and then on the in-breath, rocking fully to the tailbone. And on the out-breath, see if you can feel that full contraction um, from pubic bone to navel. And you might find that there's um, an area you have lex less access to, and just see if you notice that. And this last one, so zipping up the front as you exhale. And then moving back to a neutral pelvis and pause. So you have a bit of lumbar curve behind your back. So that's neutral, right? So finding your neutral pelvis. We're going to lift the knees and cross at the ankles and the arms out to a T. And just finding um, the uh, pelvic clock, it's called. So we're going to rock to the right hip and see if we can hold it there for a moment. You'll see if the core muscles are, are holding here. And then we'll slowly kind of move downwards towards that right sitting bone. And see if you can maintain that, that natural shape of your spine and hold the legs there. So see if your core can then hold. And then move the legs so you're more on the tailbone or the sacrum. So we're in that lower part of our clock. Not arching the back too much. Keeping the lower belly engaged. And then coming over towards that left sitting bone. Bring the legs that direction. Okay, finding this part of our clock. So if, it, if you notice it's hard to hold them, you're just finding different, different parts that might be a little less um, strengthened or a little, little weaker spots. So let's come to that left hip, see if we can hold there. And then slowly bring the legs around to the center. And we're going to continue just to make those pelvic Lock. So just a little faster, you can take the knees around in a circle and maintaining that stability. So there's a little contraction in the low belly to hold the legs. Then rolling around that sacrum. And see what you notice in that circle. Yeah, I like the option of, you know, if it's 
too much, you could even be helping to support the legs by having hands on the knees. If that um, gives you more stability, and you might try the other direction, so nice and slow. Now we have this whole internal pelvic bowl supports our body or supports our um, pelvic alignment. So we're in that Anamaya Kosha, that physical layer. So really feeling connection to these core muscles. So let's come back around and pause. Just take your feet back to the floor and take a breath. Right, soften the belly, soften where you were holding in the abdomen. See um, how the breath feels after we kind of activated all those deep core muscles. And we're gonna bring our block and place it between the, the thighs right now. So I actually have it on the medium setting. So, um, so it's, uh, you know, you can have it the skinny way or this way. So we're gonna have it that way. Yeah. yeah. So between the thighs and just bringing the knees up, arms out to a T. Find that neutral place in the pelvis, so um, so there's a bit of lumbar curve there. Good, breathing in. Now slowly, as you exhale, take your legs out just an inch, squeezing the block, maintaining that neutral spine. Take a breath in. You might move another inch out with the legs or a millimeter, <laughs> but keeping connection to the core stability. And you might try two more breaths and see if you go a millimeter out further, keeping connection to that core. I know that's tough, isn't it? <laughs> and good, bring the knees back in, relax, inhale. And then we'll do that four breaths, so slowly start to extend. And three more breaths. So wherever you're able to hold, maybe you're just keeping the legs still, right? This is, this is a lot of connection here. It's really important, though. Good. It's important to our breathing. And let's come back. Good. And lower the legs down for a moment. You're going to keep the block, though. Pause. <laughs> Take a breath. Good. Find neutral in your spine. Good. Sensing this physical, deep physical layers of our, our core, right? Really important. And lift the legs again. So this time, squeezing the block, inhaling, finding neutral spine. Now as you exhale, extend the legs straight up. And then inhale, bend the knees. And we're going to keep that same pelvic stability, right? See if you can extend the legs. And if you need to, you could hold behind the thighs. Maybe that's going to give you a little more stability in the pelvis. See if you can keep it neutral. Pressing the belly towards the floor as you extend up. Concentrating deep on that core. And this last one. Good. And we'll go ahead and lower the legs down. <laughs> Easy there. And pause. Let's bring the bottoms of our feet together, knees out to the sides. And just maybe bring the hands onto the belly for a moment. See if you can relax through that core. Taking several breaths and see if the breath has changed, right? You really had um, connected to deep in the core there. So see, does the belly rise evenly on both sides as you breathe in? As you breathe out, does it 
contract evenly on both sides. It's just how we start to learn our mechanics, right? Our physical mechanics, where we have, we might show favoritism and imbalance in the body. And so we stay here in our um, Supta Baddha Konasana, so butterfly pose. And as you press the bottoms of your feet together, we're going to slowly just take four breaths of uh, an inhale and four exhalations to bring the knees towards each other. So it's an in breath to open the knees and then exhale a little bit in, exhale a little bit in, exhale a little bit in, and exhale. Inhale, opening the knees. And exhale, four exhales if you can, just cutting, the calling, the, they are what's called a krama, a stair step breath on the exhale. Now you could stay with that. Or for some of you, if you want, you press into your feet, lift your hips a little bit off the floor and do the same thing. Okay. Yeah, four exhales. Good, so we're really starting to feel that deep core connection that's gonna support us in all that we do. So do what you can, right? Let me take one more breath to inhale the knees out to the side. Four exhalations to close the knees and whether your hips are lifted or still on the ground. Okay. And when you're ready, just resting back and let's straighten the legs out. So Pause right here and take several breaths. Okay, so here as we breathe, we start to notice, you know, when we release that muscular contraction is when the breath layer, the prana layer moves in. We can feel maybe a little more lightness in our in our um, the areas we've just worked, maybe a little heat or energy. And we're going to grab a block here. And place the block between your knees. So last thing here. So I know we're really focusing deeply on this core tonight. So on your back, so squeezing the block. You can have it on the, on the short setting or the, the small setting. And arms out to the sides, neutral pelvis. And we're going to take some mini bridges, so really small tonight. So the in-breath, you know, that soft belly expansion. And the exhale breath, taking up the, picking up the hips, squeezing the block just about an inch. Inhale and drop it back down. And as you exhale, squeeze the block, pick up the hips. Right, and see if you notice, right, you can use your hands um, if your lower glutes and upper hamstring area is awake here. Breathing in to drop. Breathing out to pick up the hips. You might take this last one. Maybe you pause and hold, and we're keeping a really low, just a baby bridge here. And check out what's engaged. Are both sides of your hamstrings and your glute muscles 
active here. Does one favor this position? Good, and when you're ready, you can go ahead and release and bring the hips back down. Release your block. Maybe stretch out, full body stretch. Lengthen the legs, arms overhead. Softening through the lower body. Good, and let's go ahead and Shift over to one side, and we're going to come on up and over and coming onto our hands and knees. And a little more connection to this physical layer, however you can. So spreading the fingers, pressing the shins down into the floor. And then we're going to move um, forward and back out of um, child's pose, but a little different with that four-count exhale. And so the in-breath, we're just looking forward and we're having kind of a neutral spine. We're taking the shoulders back, uh, shoulder blades down the back and a little squeeze of the upper legs towards each other. So the legs are active, right? You feel that in the thigh. Good, and as you're exhaling a little bit, you're gonna start to tuck the belly, move back a little, exhale a little bit more Right, keep contracting the belly. Exhale a little bit more. And then all the way down. And then breathing in to come back up. Neutral position, looking forward. And if it works for you, try that four count exhale. Exhale a little bit, tuck the tailbone. A little bit more, rounding the spine. A little bit more tucking under, belly pulls in all the way back. And when you're ready to inhale, come all the way back up. Slow four count exhalation or four step exhalation. And so we're really seeing what part of this physical layer is active Maybe what part of the abdomen might not be. And maybe one more. And four count exhalation. How are we doing with that? Good. And when you get back there, you could pause in child's pose. Right, just return to natural breath. Having the arms extended or by your sides, whichever feels most comfortable at this moment. Breathing in, breathing out. So just allowing that breath to move into the body in new ways as you let the belly relax and the core. Good. And we're going to take a moment to just kind of, um, let's actually come into downward facing dog, but you might take the block. For some of you, if, if this is accessible to you, if it's not, no big deal. You can take the block and place it between your calves. So we're going to squeeze it, squeeze the block between the calves. Curl the toes under. And come into downward dog. And just a little different muscular effect. So, right? So I'm going to turn so you guys can see me. <laughs> so as you, as you uh, squeeze the block, just notice where that takes you up into the core. Right? You might start to feel the pelvic floor. And then into the um, abdominal wall. Into the spine. 
as you let the chin tuck in towards the sternum, and you take one more breath, you might sink your heels. Good, and we'll go ahead and lower the knees and come forward onto the belly. So you can leave the, you can set the block aside, come forward and rest. So bring the forehead to the hands. Makrasana or crocodile pose. We're going to bring our legs out a little bit. So, um, so you could separate your legs out almost to the corners of the mat. Turn the toes out. So your belly, your belly is really um, flat to the floor. And um, so for a moment, let's take a look and move into that diaphragmatic breathing and feeling the belly on the floor. As you're breathing in and expanding the belly, can you feel all parts of the abdomen expand against the floor. As you exhale, feel the abdomen pull in away from the floor. And breathing in, you feel all parts expand. And breathing out, you feel a sense that the abdominal wall is contracting away from the floor. So it's just an opportunity just to feel that expansion again, that layer of breath. Giving you a little information about the muscles and the and the and the um, core. We'll bring our legs back in to neutral and straight back from the hips, so the tops of the feet on the floor. Good. And moving into um, Sphinx Asana, so we'll bring our forearms under the shoulders, uh, elbows under the shoulders forearms in front. It's a little lift here from chest and head. Good. So pausing here. So let's build our architecture. Just pressing into the forearms. Pressing into the tops of the feet. And kind of as if you're squeezing your legs towards each other. And we'll take several breaths here. And you might find a little s distance between your sternum and your chin. So um, so you have a little, a little space. You don't want to crunch the back of the neck, but just a little length in the back of the neck. We'll take one more breath. And as you release and relax, soften into a puddle and breathe. Let that layer of breathing come in and through and wherever it touches. And sliding the hands back next to the chest, or you could do shrinks again. And on the in-breath for cobra, we're just um, pressing the palms into the floor gently, it's lifting chest, shoulders, and head. Lower belly's engaged here, so you want to have that tuck of the belly, and then lower back down on the exhale breath. Engage the low belly. Inhale, lift. So a little rolling cobra here. Lowering as you exhale down, continuing to hold the lower abdomen in, but breathing here. So maybe two more. 
Rolling the shoulders back and down. And exhale out. Good. One more breath. And as you press up this, or actually, let's bring the um, bring the forearms onto the mat. And we're going to slowly inhale, and the exhale, just kind of peel the the um, solar plexus or above the navel away from the floor. We're starting to move into a mini um, forearm plank. So you're just going to feel that upper abdomen off the floor. Good. And if that checks out and you want to, you could lift all the way down to the pubic bone off the floor. All right, so you're going to hold there. Okay, so you feel that contraction, and then maybe you lift the thighs off the floor, holding here, staying whatever, wherever is available to you. Good, yeah, there's a lot of core there, so let's lower back down and pause and bring the forehead to the hands. Take a breath, right? Let the core muscles relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. When you're ready, stretching those arms out, we're going to pull the knees in and coming all the way forward. And coming into... Uttanasana, standing forward bend. Good. So for some of you, um, we you can take for a little more activation in the legs, you could take the block and bring it between the calves. So on the medium setting, right? So a little squeeze. Let's come all the way up to mountain. And right, so pause. As you come into mountain, and, and if you're squeezing that block between the calves, just kind of notice how that's different. Right? We're releasing a little more through the glutes. A little more activation of the adductors or the inner thigh area. Rising up through the central channel. And breathing in. And breathing out. Good. So with your in-breath, reaching up. And let's take a swan dive forward. So bending the knees, folding over the legs. And you could pause in that forward bend, maybe hands on knees or hands to the floor, whatever is available to you. Good, with that squeeze of the block, we're going to slowly peel the heart space forward, just walking the hands up the shins. Now, noticing here when the core starts to be needed to support the back. So we're going to come halfway up and pause. And there's that connection to the low belly tuck, the squeeze of the block, supporting the back. And then fold back in, walking your hands back to the floor. And we'll do that a couple times. So walking the hands up the legs. We'll take several breaths, right? Finding the support of the belly, tucking in halfway up. Good. Upper thigh, lower glute area is actively supporting. And then fold back in. Good. This time, breathing in, coming out with the chest, lifting, coming halfway up, finding the support of the, of the core. And we'll come all the way back to standing. So notice what supports you, reaching all the way up. Inhale. And exhale. Swan dive forward, little bend in the knees, coming over the legs. 
Good, coming halfway up again, breathing in. And breathing out to full. All the way up, reverse swan dive, find that core support. And one more time as you exhale, folding. Good, strengthening. Coming halfway up, breathing in. Folding as you exhale. Coming all the way back up. Let's bring our hands to the heart. And exhale, breath. And pause. Good. So pressing the palms together. So we're feeling that physical connection, right? Our physical layer. Crown is tall. Let's go ahead and release that block. Set it aside. And we're going to move more subtly now. So we've been really focusing on the muscles. So let's bring one hand to the abdomen, one to the chest. And a little softness in your joints. Softness in your jaw. Softness in your shoulders, in your chest. And just begin to feel that sense of your natural breath. And so we're just going to feel this layer, pranamaya kosha, it's called. So the layer of just the breath. So we're going to just really let go of muscular effort now and just feel the breathing. Right? Feel the breath start to come in around the diaphragm, filling. As you exhale, it's gently contracting, and we're going to move into that sense that the in-breath is just giving to the out-breath, and the out-breath is just giving to the in-breath. There might be a slight pause at the top of the inhale and at the bottom of the exhale. Letting go that layer of physicality and just feeling the breath. The energy is even lighter and more infinite than the breath, so it's even more subtle to feel energy. As we prepare to step our right foot back and just keeping with that breath. So moving to into pyramid and breathing in. Just letting the arms come down and continuing that looping breath, that ocean wave of breath and letting go of the muscular effort. And folding into pyramid pose. Letting the breath be undisturbed by the physical movement. When you lose the connection to the breath, come back to just finding that it's the least amount of effort. And as you prepare to move again, <coughs> not disturbing that breath, <coughs> but starting to move with the ocean wave of breath. As more space is created <coughs> as you come up, A 
and taking a breath and reaching all the way up. Stepping forward and left foot stepping back. Right inhale. And exhale, finding that soft breath. Letting go of effort and staying with breathing. Moving into pyramid pose. As our, we stay with movement within our breath, so our breath doesn't start to be labored or big or gulping or gasping. It's just breath. Letting go of the muscular effort to shift as you inhale and exhale. Finding the points of pause in the breathing in and the breathing out. And coming all the way back up. And maybe shifting and facing. So left foot to the back of the mat. Wide legs. Good. And slow, we start to hinge forward from the hips. So again, just finding that. Did the breath change? And you find the end of the exhale and a pause, the end of the inhale, and a pause, and wide-legged forward bend. Checking in with any areas of letting go or softening. You might walk those hands forward a little bit. And maybe moving the hands, they could come onto a block <coughs> or the floor. And with very little effort, we're just gonna s um, just see if we can lift or rotate the right rib cage towards the ceiling. So a little spinal twist, but don't take the arm up. We're just gonna kind of rotate here. See if the breath shifts. And lowering that shoulder back down. And gently, easily, well, easy is relative, <laughs> right? So left shoulder, left rib cage rotating, spinal twist, but just gentle. So see, you know, does the head want to come along or does it want to stay looking downwards at the hand? And taking a, a breath here and letting go, right? So letting it surrender back to neutral. So the breath doesn't start to become big or labored. And then we'll walk our hands back up to our thighs and slowly roll up through the spine. <coughs> so the layer, let's step in when you get there and come into mountain. And pause. And one hand to the chest and one to the belly. And just let go of anything that tightened up. Coming down to the level of just the breath. And as we come back down to the floor, then we're going to come onto our back. Let's take a full body stretch and lengthen out and see if you can get down there without increasing the breath too much. So we're coming 
onto the back and returning into that level of just the wave coming in, the wave going out. Little effort in the muscles, just the breath. We're going to take our right hand, right arm, reach it overhead. And bring the left arm up as well, if that's comfortable. Stretching that left leg straight out. And coming into crescent moon with one knee bent. So we're going to leave our right leg bent. And then bringing the upper body towards the upper right corner of the mat. And the left leg across towards the lower right corner. And you can keep that right knee bent. So we're going to keep that bent just to maintain a little neutrality in the pelvis. All right, so we're in a C shape with the spine and crescent moon. And see what you notice on this side of the body, the left side of the body. Just with that natural breath, the wave of breath. Moving in, moving out. And as you stay kind of undisturbed with the breath, you can stay with it with as little effort in the muscles as possible. We're going to come back to neutral. And then sliding the right leg out. Bringing the right leg towards the left lower corner. And the arms and the shoulders over towards the upper left corner. So crescent moon here. And keeping the pelvis upright. So notice that relationship to crescent moon. Breathing in, breathing out. So we continue to notice our breathing. It's the act of the breath moving in is an act of receiving or accepting. And the exhale, it's just a moment of surrender, letting go. It's kind of letting things move through us more porous, not holding on to things or letting them accumulate in the body or in the mind. Removing the obstacles, each breath. Acceptance and surrender. And you might bring the legs and arms back to neutral and pause. And taking the arms out to a T. Picking up the hips and shifting them to the right. Very little effort still staying with our just really light breath. And letting your knees drop over to the left. Spinal twist. And just noticing that subtle breathing here. Kind of 
find that where the inhale feeds or gives to the exhale. The exhale gives to the inhale. Staying in the layer of just breath and energy. Every cell has this quality of the energy layer, the prana, maya kosha. We might bring our knees back to neutral. And with just a shift of the hips to the other side and dropping the knees over, seeing if the breath changed. Did it stay in that gentle caressing of the nasal passageway? But then we're so soft in our body that the breath is not just in the nasal passageway, it's in the entire body. It's beyond the body. It's every cell. think or prepare for a moment just to bring the legs back up in a very easy neutral way and grabbing your block maybe place the block right under the pelvis and raise the hips up just letting the again just letting the body rest there's a little or no muscular effort, but then exploring how the breath feels in this shape. Did you find that you started to Breathe in bigger gasps, or you find that it's easier to breathe here or less easy. So you drop in around the diaphragm. Does it expand 360 degrees? In this position, a little different position. And does it contract back in around the lower ribs? Some of you might just stay with this position. Or if you like, you could just gently bring your knees in and legs up and coming into candlestick um, or a supported shoulder stand. And taking uh, maybe up to 10 breaths or so just to see this shape. Notice where any tension starts to accumulate. And just begin to let go of that muscular effort. 
when you're ready and just bringing the legs back down and coming into Shavasana. A nice supported position of surrender, just letting go. Maybe using some support behind your head or behind your knees. As you let the whole physical body relax, so the physical layer, Anamaya Kosha. You can again go back to sensing where the back of the head touches and releasing. And the backs of the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Softening the arms. Noticing where the pelvis is rested on the earth and letting go. And go with the muscles of the legs, calves, arches, and toes. Just feeling the earth holding this physical layer of ourselves safe. And as you bring your attention to softening through the pelvic bowl, maybe the base of the, the pelvis, You might imagine just a soft, glowing red light, circular energy around the base of the body. And then bringing the breath up a bit, just below the navel and around to the sacrum a circular energy, soft orange or glowing color, just circling through and around the lower belly, a subtle layer of energy. And coming up to the navel center, around the solar plexus and imagine a circular moving glowing yellow moving through this area something more subtle than muscles and bones but the breath is carried to each cell. And then coming up to the heart center. Mm. Noticing a circular energy around the heart and the lungs. Color green. sensation as you relax around the area from the collar, collar bones to the jaw from the base of the cranium to the shoulder blades a soft circular blue light
energy rises up just to the center of the forehead and around the brain, through the brain. The soft, glowing, lavender, purple, indigo. Coming up to the crown of the head. And just imagining a soft breathing in and breathing out with the crown of the head. creating a circle of light around the body. Maybe just imagining, if you like, just as you're inhaling and your inner body is expanding outwards, there's this glowing light around you and see if you fill all the oval that surrounds your body with light. As you exhale and kind of relax the insides, Inhale, expands the inner body of light, creating that oval shape around you. Sometimes we can notice on that inhale and expanding breath that there might be pockets in our, in our light field that are not filling with light. Something to try out. You see what you notice? As you rest in your, in your layer of light, you notice thoughts or emotions um, like waves, energetic waves, even more subtle than the breathing. Thoughts drifting past like clouds in your field of energy. It's Manomaya Kosha. The thoughts and the emotions. As you drift further back from just that place of awareness, just that place that's watching it all, observe the observer, the witness self, just kind of abiding there. Serving the field of your body, breath, mind, and emotions. place where we can surrender or just be. Letting each exhale be the opportunity to practice surrendering, practice letting go. So you might just notice how you're feeling. Just notice the physical, lay all the layers here. And you can start to move a little bit and just 
staying kind of in that witness place of moving so you transition in a way that's mindful it's it's kind of still just kind of watching the waves might bring a knee into the chest or two and give him a squeeze maybe a rock side to side When you're ready, just taking yourself to one side and pausing, noticing the breath on that side. And transitioning back to your starting place. Maybe bring hands to heart. So may all beings be well, happy, and peaceful. Namaste. And thanks, you guys, for sharing the night, sharing the evening. We'll see you guys in two weeks.